seasons a year, usually without fail, the heavens open. The rain pours and the bulk of it flows in raging torrents to the Indian Ocean. Even when the rains are depressed, as is the case this year, almost all the precious liquid will flow to waste, washing away topsoil from the forest and land, leaving behind a patched landscape and people thirstier than they were before it came. We get two rains in a year with two seasons and most of the water will drain away into Indian Ocean. And uh, whereas uh, the, 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 the amount of rains are normally not as high as other places, but the amount of water that, is, that comes with the rains is normally good enough. What happens is our rains are short but heavy. Within a, a month, we could get all the rains for the year. In this new age of climate change, characterized by drier years and devastating floods, Kenyans need to rethink the traditional reliance on providence if they are to survive the future. It is becoming increasingly defeatist to simply pray for rain, and when it comes, let it all go to waste in a never-ending cycle of flooding, followed by dry, cracking soils, and finally people searching for scarce water. Over and over, year in, year out, the cycle goes. Fortunately, it is not all doom and gloom. Many counties, especially those in arid regions of Kenya, are keen to address this problem that greatly affects their residents. Kitui, Kajado and Makueni counties have done a lot in the area of rainwater harvesting through construction of earth and sand dams that residents can use for domestic water supply as well as small-scale irrigation. Earthy dams is the first way of harvesting our service runoff. Number two is the sandy dams. The number three is what we are calling Nzangule Yamatangi, merry-go-round of water tanks. Uh, we've established that with two 10,000 water tanks, if every homestead can install two 10,000 water tanks at their homestead, the water harvested, we've calculated on average, a household will consume 520 liter jerry cans per day. That amounts to 100 liters per day. In the 2016-2017 financial year, the county government of Makueni injected approximately 6 million Kenya shillings to revamp what you're looking at behind me. This is Kwachai Irrigation Schemes, which serves approximately 5,000 residents of Kibwezi West who engage both in small scale and large scale farming. Malutuko, Malutuko hapa panaitwa Kifungoni. Na hapa Kifungoni, dipo mali community ya Kwachai in a abstract maji, maji ya irrigation. Nyuma yangu, tuwa kuna kifungo ni damu. Kiangalia nyuma yatu, naona kuna damu mbili. Kuna moja hiko nyuma yangu hapa na kuna ingini hiko mbele. Hile ya mbele ni nacharo. Hii ya pili ni manimeni. Na hii maji natoka kwa spring. Spring ambayo inaitua Kilui Springs. Yu inesabu kifungo ni damu, na kifungo ni damu yu inesabu hii kwa chai irrigation abstraction intake. Mm -hmm. Yes. channels 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 in a cover almost five kilometers away. Kwanzi hapa hapa kifungoni, paka kwa mashamba penye inafika mwishu. So huko chini na nge kwa mashamba, watu wanafanya miradigani huko? Sasa huko kwa mashamba, watu wanaolowesha mboga maji, wanapanda mboga, sukuma, maindi, na kitu kama hii. Behind me is Matinga Dam in, Ma, in Makweni County, Makweni sub-county in Kathonzweni Ward. 
And as you can see, this is uh, basically where the locals here come to get water for their domestic use, which basically goes to tell you just how, how productive or rather how useful this dam is to the locals here. In Kitui County, there is the new Kalundu Dam within Kitui Town. Kitui falls under harid and semi-harid lands. It's a semi-harid land, which means it receives uh, little rains. 300 millimeters, 500, which means rainfall is not enough to give us adequate water, maybe through uh, roof catchments. Therefore, we, 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 we are bound to, to do water catchment structures, additional water catchment structures, which will harvest the rains so that it can be used during a dry period. So some of these uh, water catchment structures include uh, hardy dams. The economies of counties in water stress counties are largely dependent on livestock farming. And these earth dams are an effective bulwark during rain deficit years. A number of large dams are planned in different counties around the country. One of these is the Chemususu Dam in Baringo County. With a capacity of 15 million cubic meters, the dam is already changing the lives of Baringo residents. This is a catchment area, where the government to fund the project ya dam. We have a stream and we have a stream ambaye ina form Barigera River baada ya kukutana na Eldama Ravine Kabimoi eh, Sigoro ina form Barigera River ndio mwage maji le Baringo kwa hivyo inatoka kwa catchment area ambaye iko very high ambaye iko 7700 feet above the sea level ambaye tuko karibu kilomita tano the highest point ambaye ni Timboroa tukaendelea na dam da baka wakati ikamalisika 2014 December jo wakati sasa tulimaliza mambo ya dam maji ilija 2013 eh, mwezi wa 5 ndio tukapata spillage maji kwa the wea ambaye inaingia sasa kwa runway ambaye inarudi kwa mtoni another one is Kiserian dam in Kajiado county which has a capacity of 122 million cubic meters. The Kikuyu Dam, located in Kiambu County, has also brought relief to the residents of Ndeya. It is instructive to note that private organizations and individuals are also buying into the necessity of rainwater harvesting. A non-governmental organization in Kikuyu Sub-County, Kiambu County, the Kenya Rainwater Harvesting Association, is practically training residents how to argument their water resources through roof water harvesting systems using easy to construct gutters and farm ponds to store the water. The Rainwater Association is a national outlook uh, membership organization that deals with uh, promoting rainwater harvesting technologies with complementary technologies. So one is what we are calling the farm pond. Farm pond is just an underground kind of uh, storage that have a sort of through surface runoff. So the rain is captured through the guttering system that is, has been installed over here. Then it is captured throughout to the other pipes on the other end. So as you can see, the water is trapped into the collection box. There is an underground pipe that takes the water into the farm pond. So the water after it's been collected into the farm pond is pumped through that electric pump into the raised tank. Then from the raised tank, the water will be used through drip lines in the greenhouse. We do rainwater harvesting storage tanks, the masonry ones, but we do those in primary schools. And thirdly, we do water pans. Those are the bigger uh, dams that have as rainwater through surface runoff also. The benefits of policy formulation, development of relevant legislation, and funding cannot be understated in the wellness of our nation. Kitui County is a case to quote. 
where the wide construction of earth dams and the civic education by the county government on small-scale irrigation called meander irrigation and focus on fast maturing crops has resulted in food security in a county that was hitherto heavily dependent on food relief. We've purchased 40 tractors uh, which we have given out to farmers and we only ask them to pay a thousand shillings just to cater for the fuel, for the diesel, and the rest is taken care of by the county. So that we can open land within the shortest period of time. Again, they also plow deep, they till the land to deep depth, so that it can also help in retaining moisture when it rains. And this is to increase production of green grams, uh, pigeon peas, which farmers grow, cow peas, goose and rotor land crops. It is not a bad thing to pray for rain. However, it is a very bad thing to get the rain and let it flow to the ocean with no concern about the dry days to come. At some point, even God will stop listening. <laughs>